fix. So I just want everybody to know the Scissors to Green County. We're going to protect and serve you, but if you think twice before you come to Green County, Utah, with illegal drugs and illegal handguns. Warning from Utah police tonight. Their officers confiscated several weapons and drugs Friday night. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Ben Hoover. Officers recovered a number of stolen weapons, including assault rifles, handguns, and ammunition. CBS 42 reporter Tim Reed has that story. Utah Police Chief Tommy Johnson tells us three suspects were arrested and a number of guns, including assault rifles and drugs, were confiscated. The chief tells us he's glad these guns are no longer on the streets and these suspects are in custody. Utah Police Chief Tommy Johnson says this happened Friday night, September the 9th. Nine assault rifles and pistols were confiscated, along with marijuana. 22-year-old Hakeem Jordan was arrested and charged with receiving stolen property. Two other juveniles were also arrested. The three allegedly were breaking into cars in Pelham and Shelby County to steal the guns and iPads. Then they fled to Greene County. Oh, these, these weapons pose a lot of threats, not only to the public, to us, on a traffic stop or anything. And we, know, we, we don't know what we encounter when we stop a vehicle. And when you got assault rifle like that, it's, it's very dangerous. So we need to get them. It's a good deal. We got them off the street. Utah investigators worked hand in hand with Pelham Police and the Greene County Sheriff's Office and located the suspects in Bology by tracking a stolen iPad the thieves allegedly stole. The chief says keeping these weapons off the streets of Utah was his number one goal. Oh, it's like I say, it's very, very dangerous. Like I say, uh, we encounter a lot. A lot of people just don't know what the police department go through or any law enforcement go through. You know, our motto is well, you want to come home, you want to make it home, and that's what we plan to do. And like I said, when we up against stuff like this, juvenile guns end up in the wrong hands can be can be very, very dangerous. The police chief tells us more arrests are possible in this case. In Utah, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tim, thank you.